Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on PS4 Linux. This is the third part of a tutorial where we learned to build our first Linux distro for the PS4 from scratch. So in the past two videos, what we have done is we have installed a distro that is Fedora 35 in this case to this virtual machine that we have named uh, PS4 Linux. And in the second video, what we did was we uninstalled the unnecessary software and installed the necessary software while also learning how to update the system while it is running on VirtualBox. All right. So in this video, we're going to do an extremely important step that is necessary to run this distro on your PS4. That is, we're going to install the drivers, the necessary drivers to have this distro running perfectly on the PS4. While some of you might think that the installation of drivers can also happen on the PS4, that might not be entirely true. Because while some distros will boot directly without the drivers on your PS4, the others might not. So it is the best option to install the necessary graphic drivers while this distro is running on your virtual machine. All right, so that is what we're going to do here. The first step as usual is running the virtual machine that we have named PS4 Linux. Make sure this is selected and click on start. Before we begin installing the drivers, I would like to give you a slight heads up that the drivers are different. Drivers work different on Ubuntu and Fedora. This tutorial is specifically for Fedora. So the steps are quite different. And for those of you who are building Ubuntu for PS4 or Ubuntu based distros like Pop OS for PS4, I would suggest you go to the link in the description where I have detailed each and every step for the installation of the same drivers on Ubuntu. All right. So this is for Fedora. Let me make that clear here itself. All right. So this is Fedora 35 and I have already pre-compiled the drivers for Fedora 35 for the PS4. All right. I've also left a link for the same in the description. So what you have to do is go to the application menu and uh, go to your internet browser that is Firefox. If you would remember correctly, this uh, system when we installed it did not have a browser. I showed you how you could install your favorite browser, for example, Firefox in this case, in the second tutorial. So make sure that you have watched the previous two tutorials, that is the first part and the second part before you go into these. Even if you are an expert, I would suggest you go through these tutorials because the installation of a distro on PS4 is quite different from how you would do it on another system. All right. Then what you can do is go to the link I have given in the description to download the drivers. Once you have downloaded the drivers, it will go into your downloads folder. As you can see, it is already here. In my case, I have compressed the drivers into an archive for easier download. So what we're going to do is right click here and extract it right here. All right. So this gives us two folders, 32 bit and 64 bit. We're going to need both these drivers because some games still do use 32 bit drivers, especially the graphics drivers for playing them. So it is a good idea to install both these drivers. Okay. Now, before we proceed with the installation of the pre-compiled drivers for PS4, there's an important step that has to be taken here. That is deleting the old drivers. This will make sure that the installation of the PS4 drivers that we have compiled right here will go smoothly. This is not a compulsory step, but I have seen that when you try to install these PS4 drivers over the already existing drivers, it usually ends in a conflict that does not let us install the drivers that we need. So by running a few commands, we can make sure that that does not happen. And to do that, I'm going to open the terminal. And for that, I'm going to type sudo space RPM space hyphen E space hyphen hyphen N O D E P S space dollar open a bracket RPM space hyphen Q A space double quotes and then type M E S A and then an asterisk and then close the quotes and then the brackets and press enter. It's going to ask for the password. And that's it. Now I'm going to type the same command here. By just pressing on the up arrow, you will have access to the earlier command. So here we have the old command that we just ran. Now I'm going to go to the Misa part and then change it to lib drm and then press enter. Now I'm going to make the same command appear again by pressing on the up arrow. And this time I'm going to change libdrm to xorg hyphen x11 hyphen drv hyphen amd gpu. And then I'm going to press enter. And that's it. You have successfully removed the already existing drivers that might have caused a conflict when we try to install the new drivers. Now you're ready to install the new drivers. First of all, I'm going to do the installation of the 64 bit drivers. To do that, all you have to do is open the 64-bit folder and go to Tools above and click on Open Current Folder in Terminal. Once you click that, you will see that the terminal changes the directory to 64-bit. That is this particular folder. All right. 
Now all you have to do is type sudo space yum space install space asterisk dot rpm and then press enter. I was going to ask for the password. Now as you can see, this will ask for confirmation. All you have to do is press Y and press enter. And that's it. We have completed the installation of the 64 bit drivers. Now I'm going to close this terminal, go back and then click on 32 bit folder. And then again, do the same step that is click on tools, open current folder in terminal. And then I'm going to repeat the same step that is sudo space yum space install space asterisk dot rpm and enter and done that's it okay as you can see with a few clicks and a few strokes of the keyboard you have successfully installed the pre-compiled driver while the compilation of these drivers is a totally different problem that we will talk about in a different video this is how you can easily install ps4 drivers on fedora I've already explained at the beginning of this session that the steps for installation of the same drivers on Ubuntu is quite different. If you ever face any issues, just let me know in the comments. I will make a video on the same so that it becomes easier for you. But as I've already mentioned, I do have the steps noted down on an article in my blog that you can go to. Just check the description for the link. And if you still don't understand it properly, I will make a video tutorial on it. All you have to do is ask. So that completes the installation of the drivers. With that, we are ready to install the same distro on your PS4. For that, we are going to back up the system and that I'll teach you in the next part of the tutorial. So make sure you watch that. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, do not forget to hit that like button. It means a lot to me. And leave your comments below with your suggestions, feedback and whatever you feel like saying. And if you ever face any hurdles, all you have to do is leave a comment below or go to my blog. You can also leave a comment there. I would appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button on your way out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.